Hi, Tony Sweet here. We're going to begin with a uh, Christmas gift to my Canon friends, uh, dealing with multiple exposures, um, and then we'll finish up with a, a preview of Vesa 2. But first, uh, I'd like to thank Uwe Steinmuller for writing this great script, which which greatly shortens the uh, the process for Canon people and other cameras that cannot do in-camera multiple exposures. Uh, he shortened that process dramatically with his great script, free script, that I'm going to uh, illustrate here uh, in a few seconds. Let me say that I taught with Uva and Alan Brio in Bryce Canyon last year, and it was most enjoyable. And I think when I illustrated this technique and the uh, long way of doing it, that inspired Uva to come up with this incredibly quick way by writing this great script to circumvent all the waiting time and all the the manual moving of the files and changing opacity that kind of thing so i think you'll find this most enjoyable and and uh a great time saver so let's let's, let's get started here's here's a file that was taken in camera nikon camera 10 exposures fine no problem for canon people to achieve that took a little more work and got a bit tedious but what I did was I also shot 10 separate files where I moved the camera almost exactly the same or as close as I could to do exactly the same and just moved 10 times and have 10 separate files. And now I'm going to go into script and I'm going to, if you notice in here, there's these two right here, layer stack opacity blending and layer stack opacity blending underscore integrated. When you download uh, this script you will get these two scripts that have to be put into your scripts folder but the only one you will select is the integrated that's where the action is so we're going to select that and then we'll ask what files do you want to put together so I'm just going to browse and uh, of course I go to my hard drive and then the Uve folder and then where this is and then I select the first I hold down shift select the last and all are selected when I say open it places all of those into that window now your works basically done at this point believe it or not if you hit OK watch the uh, layers box over here it's loading all the layers it's changing all the opacities and then it's gonna flatten at the end and then you'll see here in a second or two or three there it is. <laughs> Let me just get rid of this little little lens thing here, dust mark. Okay, this is what was compiled after manually shooting 10 exposures. That's it. That's all there is to it. The end. There's your 10 multiple exposure, my Canon friends. The image next to it is the one that was shot in camera. And you will notice that they are virtually identical look at that look at that exactly the same so we're gonna pitch the uh, one that I shot in camera and keep this up for you to look at the one that we compiled and where do we get that script I mean that's it you're basically done with your multiples that's it you're finished just like that really great idea and great job Uwe thank you but here's where you get it you click or you go to this link handbook.outbackphoto.com slash section underscore photo underscore tuning underscore filters slash index.html you will see a, a large number of scripts in here um, they, a lot of them are worth trying. You can try them before you buy, which I suggest you do with everything if you can. Um, as you scroll down, you see some are new. The uh, newest one is the uh, texture blending, which is a, another way to do texture overlay, which which is, is, is very fun and worth a look, as many of these are. But as you scroll further down, you will see my favorite part, the free scripts. Free anything, you know. Is where it's at but the very first one is DOP digital outback photo underscore layer stack opacity blending if you're not sure if that's it or not if you look to the right of that 
you will see my name mentioned in here. Then you click the free download button and you will put those scripts into your scripts folder in Photoshop. So that's where it is. So that's it for that. And again, thank you, Uwe, man, for a great job. It's going to save people a lot of time and, um, and hopefully drive a lot of people to your site. So part two is Viveza 2 and this is not good enough for me this is okay but a couple things let's go into Viveza 2 first and I'll elaborate a bit more as we go um, okay the new Viveza 2 window has the word global if no control point has been set on your image you have global global means that all of these controls here affect the entire image that makes this plugin almost one-stop shopping for 90% of your image processing. It's amazing. After you have a TIFF, after you process your RAW, you can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, structure, which is like sharpness and detail to an extent. Shadow adjustments is new. Warmth, which is your white balance. We'll get to that in a second. And again, hue, and you can affect your blue, green, and red channels. So, and further down, um, you have the uh, um, the curve adjustment, you know, the curve box right here. Anyway, I stay mostly up top, and this little button here can give you a short list, or I, I keep it on the long list in general because I like hitting the, just the warmth a lot. So I don't like this because it's like too warm for me. So I will go in and globally pull it toward the cool side a bit okay now there are blue flowers in here purple flowers here that aren't quite as apparent when it's set on zero they'll kind of get lost in the warmth but if I pull everything back a little bit the grass gets a little bluer but also the flowers pop out more so we'll get to that next but and I want to increase contrast globally and bring the structure up globally too much back a little more these are very subtle controls and then saturation maybe just a notch there we go what if I could only bring the green out and make that warmer let me save this if if I could do that that would by virtue of contrast make the blues more pronounced and I think we can do that with a filter called foliage which only addresses green and we're, we've selected that and there it is always click on the default setting first to see what it gives you there we go now that's a bit over warm for me okay but it's in the ballpark you see how the blues pop out a bit more when you do that let me show you again there's before and there's after so if I could bring the greens back to about maybe like a little almost half, there we go. Now we have the basic feel of the image. The greens are a bit warmer. The blues are a bit cooler, almost by default. And then we click on the space bar, click on the image. And that's going to be our final, our final image. So we'll just okay that out. And there it is. So if we go into our history, after compiling with Uve's script, we go from here in Viveza, and then Viveza 2 brought us to here. Not too shabby. A couple of great new things to try for everyone. <coughs> Hope you find it enjoyable and useful, and we'll see you online.